How's school today, Silla? Good. Yeah. When she first started pre-K in the first grade, she started having problems. Some of her are going to go to the gym. Her reading level was low, and she's not focused in your homework. So I'm just trying to look for a program that, you know, will help yeah. her. Yes. So I bump into a reading team. So put your hands down and circle the verb. I think what sets the reading team apart is that it's literacy focused. It's the reading team. So my job is to get kids excited about reading. All right. It was apple blossom time and the days were getting warmer. I have seen kids get really excited about learning. I mean, you just have to capture the child where they're at. The way to bring them into literacy is like, oh, well, you know, I know this great novel. It's about this kid who's just like you. Why don't you read this? Let's read it together. If you're super small, then eating a whole lot is going to make you do what? When my daughter starts school, I have to look for a program. And it was all different program there, but it's just more activity, more playing. But the reading team is a small group. They focus on the reading. And after I put her into that program, her reading level came much, much better. I've been going to the reading team for two years. The teacher puts what we're going to start with on the board, write it in our notebooks, and then we continue to make up our own story after that. All right, now what is a noun in that sentence? Sentence number one. We teach our 40, 50 minute classes of reading. But in every aspect of their education, they're, they're using literacy. So the science class, the music class, the computer lab class that the kids are going to, we're infusing a new skill set in them. But it's still literacy based. Has anyone ever heard this word called density? From working with the students in the Harlem community, I realized that for a majority of them, this is what they know. They don't have a broader view of the world yet. There's systemic things in our society that hold people back. I'm not saying that you can't push past that, but it takes a lot of work and a lot of support. My daughter could just stay in the school and could help with homework. She's a bright girl. She could do whatever she wants. Tell her to get into college, you know. Um, she's going to become somebody, I guess. I do believe kids want discipline and structure. They want someone who's gonna come in and kind of show them the way. And I think that's kind of what's lacking. They know they need it, but they don't know they need it. Rules aren't in place to harm you. Rules are in place to help you succeed. That's what the reading team think is more important, is the, teach a kid how to be a more independent thinker. <laughs> if you have to depend on other people your whole life for your education, that's a problem. Yeah.